here with a better than steroids moment. I want to answer another email question that also comes up quite often and I think is really good because it's a very valid question and obviously we want to optimize our physiques by optimizing our diet, our supplement intake, our sleep, etc, etc. So this one in particular has to do with um, cofactors, uh, which I'll describe in a second here, um, that I titled back in Bed and Steroids a number of years ago as mimickers. Mimickers was an easy word for people to understand as I explained cofactors, coenzymes, uh, proliferators, uh, assisters, whatever you want to call it, the way these different chemicals, vitamins, minerals, uh, organic, inorganic things assisted our body's function, production of hormones or utilization of hormones is one example. Mimic was an easy thing for people to understand. So in Better than Steroids, I talked about insulin mimickers. And what I mean by that is things that help insulin perform better. So the question, if I may read, was, Dr. Willie, been reading your book, Better than Steroids, and wanted to ask a, quish, eh, ask a quick question on insulin mimickers. If I use a pure carbohydrate, such as Vitargo, which is zero sugar, just carbs, then would I still benefit from using insulin mimics, such as vanadyl sulfate or chromium picolinate? That is a great question. So, quickly and very briefly, coenzymes are usually organic compounds such as vitamins, B vitamins. There's a number of B vitamins that are coenzymes. Cofactors are usually inorganic minerals, such as chromium, magnesium, the list goes on and on. I won't bore you. There's a lot of them that assist both coenzymes and cofactors that assist with insulin. So if you think of an insulin mimicker, again, the way I worded it, as a cofactor or coenzyme that betters insulin usage in your body, then that's what the question is referring to. If I'm not using a lot of sugar, do I can I use these insulin mimics to optimize insulin's action? Well, my answer to that is twofold. Like always, I always have two folds coming out of both sides. Yin and yang, yada, yada, I know, I'm sorry. But if you have any sort of insulin problem, insulin resistance, polycystic ovarian syndrome, diabetes, the list goes on, then yes, you would benefit from using these because there's a chance you may be deficient in those as part of the underlying cause of the insulin issue. If you're not insulin resistant and you're just trying to train and work better, then yes, again, I think these cofactors and coenzymes do have a place to help optimize insulin function within limits. The base of your overall program should be your diet. So if you're eating appropriately, a well-balanced diet with both the micro and macronutrients, you're getting a lot of these anyway. But supplementing these at the right time, as I discuss in the book, can be very beneficial. So to answer that email question, yes, I think those are of great benefit um, and they can be of use to anyone that utilizes them, even as for different situations. Until next time, train with your brain.